Hi, I recently released a preview of Arc, a new versioning control system focused on simplicity and performance for people looking for an alternative to Perforce and Git. One of the points I mentioned is how Arc is meant to be performance driven. And when I mention it to people, they seem to not really grasp what exactly that means. So in this video, I want to show off a concrete example of starting a new repository with Arc, Git, and Perforce using the Unreal Engine 5.1 source code. The source code is around 168,000 files and folders and around 1.9 uh, gigabytes. In order to keep things simple, I'll first initialize the repository, then copy the whole Unreal Engine source, and finally get the app to identify the changes to a point that it would be ready to commit. So first, let's start with Arc. I'll initialize a new server. Then I'll open the client application and set up my local workspace and connection to this server. After this is all done, I close the client and copy over the Unreal Engine source. The reason I'm doing it this way is to not have the copy process itself influence the outcome. Now that the copy is done, I'm going to open the client app and start this timer. This timer is just to have a more visual cue uh, it's not too scientific, it doesn't really matter, and you'll see why in a second. As you can see, the app is responsive, it's reconciling all the changes, computing their checksums, and marking them for add. The process took 16 seconds. You can see it in the log how this approximates our manual clock. Just for the sake of argument, I'll show you what happens when you have it open while the operating system is actively copying the files. So first I'll just remove it and then copy it back. If you pay attention to the logs, you'll see that the reconcile runs multiple times. And when it's over, if we add up these multiple reconcile times, we'll get something close to our manual timer. So in this case, with the OS actively copying the files, we took around 20 seconds, but let's just keep the sloppy 23 seconds from the manual timer. So now we'll look into Git. For Git, I'll use Source3, which is a quite common client for it. Again, the same thing. I'll initialize the repo first, then copy the Unreal Engine source, and finally reopen Source3.
Sorcery will also start using a lot of resources, especially memory. I'll accelerate this so that you can see that after 30 minutes, it still didn't accomplish its task, and I just decided to kill the app. This means that after all this time, we still weren't ready to commit the code. I know what you're thinking, the problem is that Source3 is a bad Git client when compared to some other, and I don't disagree. I use it because it's free and commonly used. But let's get rid of Source3, let's then remove the client part and just use the Git command line interface. Uh, this to me is already a failure of a tool in today's age, but let's just ignore that for a second. We'll start fresh again, delete everything so that we're not you know, worried that source tree polluted the numbers. First, we initialize the repo and then let's add the files. This basically stages all the changes. No surprise that Git was able to actually perform the task, however, it took almost 12 minutes. That's 44 times slower than Arc, without any graphical interface or even a sense of progress. Let's just confirm with source tree that those files were added. As you can see, after a bit, they show up as staged, but you can't really even interact with the source tree. It just becomes completely unresponsive. So now let's move on to perforce. For simplicity, we'll create a local repository. In Perforce, the way for you to usually detect changes is to do a reconcile. However, if we do a reconcile, we'd be here for another hour, so we'll just take the shortcut and tell it to just add the files. Perforce becomes momentarily unresponsive, but does a much better job in maintaining responsiveness when compared to source tree. That being said, anybody that has been using Perforce for a while will tell you that a lot of these things are cheap tricks. For example, it doesn't refresh in real time, and it starts showing only the number of files in a change list. Again, I'll accelerate the video so we don't have to wait. In the end, Perforce took around the same time as the Git command line interface, so over 44 times slower than Arc. 
This is a concrete example of what performance-driven software actually looks like when compared to industry standards. If you're interested in finding out more about ARC, you can go to arc-vcs.com. You can also try out a preview, and if it looks like the kind of software you'd like to use, please consider supporting it. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you around.